already ballin' Sorry I left you calling. I've been asking for you Cause I'm about my money Girl, your body you Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Brittany and I'm so glad you guys could stop by. And if this is your first time, make sure you click, what I mean, destroy that subscribe button before you leave this place, okay? Because you're gonna love this video. And I'm not even just saying that, like it's legit. Let me look at my face, like it looks amazing. Like why wouldn't you, why wouldn't you wanna see me again after this? This is a very simple, lightweight beat for school because for high school, college, whatever it is, you don't wanna go to school with the full face of makeup. If you're trying to look cute while still trying to get that degree, then this is the video for you and I'm going to show you how I achieved this look. And hopefully, hopefully, I see you in my next video, okay? Okay. So in today's video, we're going to start with the brows. And what I'm doing here is I'm taking a wet wipes and wiping my brow because I previously moisturized my face and you know how like the pencil can mix with the moisturizer. So I just like to do that. And here I am just admiring how good my skin looks. Like, your girl, my skin is looking so good lately. And I'm real happy. I'm so happy about it. So, for the brow pencil I'm going to be using is the Benefits Brow Pencil. And the shade that I use is 4. And here I am zooming in a little bit close to the camera. But I had used the spoolie to brush out my brows. And my brows are very awkwardly shaped. So, it's very intense. Filling in, filling in my brows or lining drawing them out it's pretty intense so i try my best to stay within the camera and it's so hard like trying to film while you're doing your brows because your head is constantly bending and you have to remind yourself oh wait the camera but anyways i'm just taking the pencil and carving out the arch and i usually like to use pencils for um to line my brows versus like pomade or anything because i feel like that's just how i get the most precision in my opinion And like I already said, my brows are very awkwardly shaped, so I don't really have hairs at the beginning of my brows, so I like to mimic it by like stroking the pencil and creating like hair. Right, y'all get the gist. Now in order to preserve the brow pencil product, because these brow pencils are, you know, a little on the high side, so I just use it to draw my eyebrows and I fill my eyebrows in using a brow gel. And the brow gel that I use was LA Girl Pro Concealer in dark brown. And now to prime, I'm taking the Baby Skin Maybelline Primer. It's a really nice silicone primer, so I really like how it feels against my skin. And I just put that on my fingertips and rub that into my skin, making sure it warms up to my face. And then for foundation, I were taking the Maybelline Fit Me, the dewy one, in 355 Coconut. I'm not going to lie, this shade is a little bit, you know, light. But it's okay because it's summertime and we're going to go back to our original shade once, you know, all that summer sun. Once the hot girl summer is up, we will definitely get back to our regular shade. But it does work. It works for me. So taking the Morphe, it's a, um, I can't remember the name of the brush, but it'll be linked in the description box. I, um using that to stipple in the foundation and i usually like to blend my foundation in sections because i notice whenever i put the foundation all at once it begins to dry down and drying down makes it much harder to blend so that's how i put on my foundation and as you guys can see i'm looking real dewy and real amazing and then i'm taking the fancy beauty concealer and i mean it's not really much to say like it is a good concealer and i do like using it it's very lightweight and it's it is a matte concealer and i you know it's a good pair like the dewy and the matte it kind of balances everything out and i usually like to let my concealer dry down which is why i'm drinking this gatorade or whatever makeup is just all about taking your time so don't don't feel like you gotta rush anything then to blend that out i'm using the elf blending sponge i love this sponge so 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 much and it's only five dollars and i'm blending that out and i usually blend the concealer on my eyes because my eyes like it's dark after I put on the foundation, so I just like for my face to be in union, which is why I put the concealer like on my eye. And yeah, so to blend, um, not to blend, to set, I'm taking the Airspun setting powder. And I feel like this this is like a setting powder that a lot of people have forgotten about. But it's it's a really good setting powder. It's at like H-E-B. Well, if you're in Texas, it's going to be at H-E-B for like $5. Like, it's a really legit setting powder drugstore. And it's a beautiful finish. I mean, look at my face. So to bronze, we're not contouring, we're bronzing because, you know, less product. I'm taking the Fenty Beauty Bronzer in Mocha Mommy. 
and using a real techniques blush brush i just like to stipple that on my face then i like to cut my cheekbones and the cheekbones are prominent looking mwah, looking real good and so for highlighter i'm taking the the my handy dandy wet and wild highlighter and i'm setting my face with the morphe continuous mist <laughs> i'm so sorry y'all that's just how it makes me feel and now for mascara, I'm using the Milk Makeup Mascara. And I don't know if it's just, it might not just be me, but I like to preserve my good mascara for like the no lash days because, you know, they're more expensive so to preserve the product. But just, I'm really focusing because, you know, we, we ain't got no lashes to save us. So we have to depend on the lashes that God has given us. And I think, you know, it did a pretty good job. All you need is a really good mascara. Now, to lighten my lips, I'm just taking a regular, regular dark brown lip pencil. Honey, if you ain't got the money for an actual lip pencil, you don't have to worry because these are only a dollar at the beauty supply store and they work just fine for me. I'm taking that and lining my lips. And then I'm going into my, ooh, my right hand man, the NYX Cosmetics Butter Gloss in Madeline. And then whenever I want a little more gloss, I go in with the one dollar beauty supply lip gloss because, you know, sometimes a girl be feeling like she would need some more gloss, you know what I mean? Like... The Beauty Spot Lip Gloss is a little undefeated. But now I'm just putting on my jewelry. I got these cute earrings of Forever 21. So cute. I just love me. Like, I love how it's like hoops and encrusted. But anyways, this is the final look, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching or whatever. And I really hope you guys enjoy it. And, you know, make sure you like and comment and subscribe. So you can become a part of the fam fam. Okay? But thank you guys. And hopefully you will be back. Hopefully, I will see you again in the premises, and we'll be able to do, you know, do more work together. But thank you so much, and I will see you guys later.